guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Right now, we are picking up right where we left off, where Edith went to sleep. Everybody in the house is asleep except for the crying twins, Iris and Stone, which she now needs to get up and take care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her do that. I'm going to have her feed the kids, and then we are going to talk a little bit about the new patch update that... So, one of the things we're definitely going to be doing in this episode... Get up, Enid. Uh, is we're going to do a little mini renovation. I know that this house is small and the stairs take up a ton of room. What are the kids down here screen worried about? Is there a monster under the bed? Or did they just hear the baby <laughs> babies crying? Scared of a monster. Well, you guys have the light. All right, I'm going to put this on pause. And <laughs> all five of the girls are freaking out. So, okay. So, I want to do a mini renovation. The stairs take up a lot of room in the living room here. So, I'm going to try and use a ladder. Since we're not having toddlers go upstairs or any pets. And it's just going to be the kids and the teens that will be traveling up the stairs. Then, I think it will be just fine to change the stairs into a ladder. I think that'll be a fun element to showcase since... We have been waiting forever for the ladders. So with that being said, let's get this episode started. All right, I'm just going to have the girls deal with their needs. They're all a mess. You're uncomfortable because of the monster. You're actually getting a little hungry. Let's see. You are taking care of your needs. You're fine. You need fun. But you know what? Go back to bed. I don't even know which one these girls... Which girl sleeps in which one. Right, go to sleep. She, she she looks just like Johnny Zest. Just like her dad. <laughs> and your, your needs are fine too. Go to sleep. So after we get the girls off to school, we're going to do a mini renovation. Also, I would like to point out that, yeah, our roses haven't been growing. Obviously, we don't have any money coming in. All right, what is wrong with this child? So we're going to build a little covering over the roses so that they start growing all year round for us because we need that money coming in because I don't want to stay in Oasis Springs. I want to move somewhere where it's going to snow. Alright, these girls are up super early. So, their sleep is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and have them eat. Oh my gosh. Stone has not stopped crying for the last hour. Very needy child. Okay, we have done everything for these children. I don't know what in the world they still want. When can they age up? <laughs> I think she just had them. Actually, tomorrow. So, we just gotta get through today. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Bluebell. You're literally washing money down the drain, but that's fine. Alright, you need to get up. Should be telling them, don't play ball in the house. Something's going to get broken, but it's the Sims, so they'll be alright. Rose is getting good. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy. God, they have their father's facial features. They look just like Marcus. Come on, get up there. Okay, good. I told you to... Oh my gosh. Go to school. Alright, mom. I don't know. Bounce your child. Alright, now we can do our quick renovation. I'm going to go ahead and do this off of camera. 
because I feel like it's taking up a lot of time within the episode and also because we're trying to cram a lot in here and I don't want to bore you with a renovation so I will see you shortly okay there we go so what I did is I took all the roses from out front put them around the back under this little greenhouse roof fenced in three sides so hopefully that will allow the roses to start growing out of season. That way we can continue to make money so we don't have to worry about it. So I'm just having mom, you know, she's, she's, her needs are good, but I'm just having her play a little bit of a game Then we're going to get the mail. I do believe we're going to need to cook. So we are going to take care of all of this. The pink bib. Rosa sitting next to the new kid at lunch when she spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims he got his baby sister's lunch again. Then the bib falls out where everyone can see it. Pick it up or just ignore it. We'll just ignore it. Bethany Pelka. <laughs> they knew. Wixinia. Zirkuni Swarsva. Okay, is he coming over? Okay, he's coming over. Good. And of course the babies start crying. Yeah. Hold on, let us deal with our crying baby and then we'll be right with you. <laughs> okay, our friendship's really good with him. Oh, now, this, now they're both crying. What is wrong with these babies? Hurry up. Alright, now that we know him really well, he should be fairly receptive to flirting. Dirty sloof. Vula Epney. Yibs yibs. Funcilia dress. Luna. Oh. Tuga. We'll do the whole <laughs> offer him a rose thing like we do to every guy we meet. K Wes Chabe Sturka Varobi Sapino Chinabs Balafoy. Alright, more choices. Let's, let's let's get the romance going here. Flirt. Change numbers, and of course we have another crying baby. Are we gonna do something? Yafa? Oh. Oh yeah. Sue. It works. Works every time. No, it doesn't. But you know. Flesh? Pando. Oh. <laughs> no. Hey, boy. Pleva. Eh, sure, sure. Orphan. Kabura. Who's that? Piazza. All right. The baby is crying in the background. We really... It's nice to get the romance, but go, please go take care of your child. Please go take care of your kid. <gasps> we have A students. We have A students. Awesome. Bluebell, Bluebell, Rose, and Lily are A students, and the other two are B students. So guess who gets to age up today? The triplets. We have teens, finally! <laughs> okay, so we are going to go ahead and age up the triplets. Because we don't have any time to waste right now. So... We are going to start with... Rose, who is going to blow out candles. I have no idea 
how many traits there are for teens, so it's probably going to take a minute or two for me to get this under control. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Rose, our very first born is aging up. Okay, we have to pick an aspiration. So, how many are there? Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, there's twelve aspirations. Pick a number between one and twelve. Ten. Okay, so ten. Three, six, nine, ten. Love. Pick a number between one and two. All right, she is going to be a serial romantic, and we need one more trait, so, oh my goodness, this is going to take a second. 11, 12, 13, and a geek. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she looks like her dad. <laughs> looks a lot like her dad. All right, add birthday candles. Okay, next. Actually, Lily was second born, so we're going to put her back in the correct order. She needs to blow out her candles. Alright, pick an aspiration. Pick a number between 1 and 12. Here's a random number, six. All right, so six. She's a foodie. Number one through two. Two. All right, she wants to be a master mixologist. She's evil, and now we need to pick a trait. And she's erratic, evil and erratic. Very similar to her mother. And once again, she looks so much like her dad. All right, Bluebell, blow out your candles. There we go. Oh, our sister's celebrating. Pick a number one through twelve. Here's a random number, eleven. All right, nature. Pick a number one through six. Here's a random number, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Purveyor of potions and trait. She would be a cat lover. So she wants to be a purveyor of potions. She's squeamish and a cat lover. <laughs> All right. Oh, I do like her hairstyle. That's right. Take that selfie, girl. All right, add birthday candles. Nobody eats it. You are tired, but first thing first, please do your homework. Yes. All right, everybody should be doing their homework. <laughs> yeah, through, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to have mom just cook a dinner to call everybody to meal. Oh. All right, so mom's cooking dinner and everybody's working on their homework. And it looks like Rose is getting sick. I don't know, was she getting sick before school? Was she the one? Yes, so you know what? We're not gonna mess around. We're just gonna go ahead, have her oh, take the medicine. Gosh. <laughs> and she's hungry. <laughs> we need to start working on some skills. Text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? No. Wait for them to respond. We also now need to start working on their responsibility before they leave the house. I don't know what this child needs, so we're just going to feed. Bye. 
Bluebell, I told you to eat. You need to grab a serving. You need to grab a serving. Mom has to pee and both babies are crying. So we'll have her use the bathroom and then feed. Oh, this is a mess. seems to be doing good getting that responsibility up hurry up mom mom's getting tired <laughs> oh my gosh it's a hot mess when everything is like this what are we sad about oh no we are not doing this sage I know you're tired oh we are not doing this I told you to eat a while ago. You know what? Just. <clears throat> I don't know which bed's yours. Just go to bed. Looks like mom finally decided to. Go to bed, Sage. Jeez. Look, they're using the ladder! It's awesome! Turn it off. And we got another baby crying. They haven't stopped for like an hour. Alright, it looks like everybody's just gonna go to bed. Everybody's giving up for the night. That's alright. I'll get them up nice and early to work on skills. Why? She's rocking him. He's green. Why is he still screaming? Thank you. Alright, Mom, just... Go to sleep. And she's not real hungry. She'll be alright. Put that in the fridge. And the kids were all responsible and washed their plates. Which is great and all, but they literally just sent all that money down the drain. Alright, is everybody getting into bed? No. Sleep. I know you're sad. Actually go to sleep, guys. And we got another screaming baby. At least we can age them up tomorrow. Right? It is tomorrow, right? Yeah, Friday. <laughs> But it's so nice to see mom, you know, being able to deal with her needs. Okay, what does Rose want? Oh, she's coming downstairs to take a shower. Alright, how's her responsibility? We're getting there. Alright, let her... No, 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 you're not taking a bath. Take a shower. And then brush your teeth. That'll help with responsibility. And you know, we never got around to any of these school projects. But 
cool thing is we can hold on to them. for a later date to really help with responsibility. All right, she's taking a shower, she's gonna brush her teeth, and then she's gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> Somebody's so sad that they're crying in their sleep. This is kind of cool, it's like a little attic now with the ladder. Kind of reminds me of an attic. Okay. Alright, and she's going to go back to sleep. Alright, Bluebell, I'm going to check on her responsibility. She's actually low. I don't know how she's lower than her sisters because she was my super responsible kid. I don't know. Uh, we'll get there. Alright, so I'm going to leave this episode here for today. I tried to pack as much in as I could. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to see more, please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever I upload something new. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.